Every night fucks every day up Every day patches the night up Oh god, you should match it, it's that KO no. Yo, I don't know if you guys saw, but in the intro of the video, we hit a 335 bench. It, it was a little sloppy, just a little bit. But between that and where we're at on deadlifts, I don't know, we're like in a really solid spot. Plus, we just got the Kabuki deadlift bar, which I'm going to show to you guys later and kind of explain it. I don't know. I think we could possibly hit all-time PRs on both those lifts anytime soon. We're not going to talk about squat. We'll focus on that later. But those two definitely possible also there is a young LA drop on the 25th if you guys are watching this when it goes live um, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description if you guys want to check it out got new shorts they also got new gym bags which are dope they like double as duffels and backpacks so yeah if you guys want to check that out code Nick save some money support my shit So I've never actually had an Apple computer before. The computer I've been editing all my videos with, I originally built it to play games on. And it's really good for that, but when it comes to editing, it's kind of shit. Like when I'm playing back 4K footage, it's super laggy, or it takes like two to three hours to render a video, which kind of sucks. Mess something up, I don't know. It just sets you back a lot. So I was gonna build a new computer that's more editing focused, but I decided I want something I'm gonna be able to travel with and then make my videos. Cause I wanna start making videos like outside of Idaho. So every single video is just me. If you guys are wondering the spec, it's a 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M2 Max and then 64 gigs of RAM. So this should plow through my editing and 4K footage, which is gonna make producing videos a lot more seamless. I don't know, it's definitely gonna be something to get used to because I've been using like a Windows computer. But according to my research in terms of like a portable editing computer, this is the best thing I could get. So that's why I got this. You are paying a lot extra for the Apple brand, but it's the best for what I need it for. So that's why I got it. Code Nick on huge and younger if you guys wanna support my bad financial decisions. Anyways, I'm gonna just see you guys when we go to the gym and I'm gonna show you guys the deadlift bar. So stay tuned for that. Yo. Earlier today, I went onto my car to grab something. I wasn't even like filming anything, but this dude came up to me and started bitching to me about flying a drone. He was telling me that I'm following people with it and like regulation says it has to be 20 feet above the ground for me to be flying it. And it's like, and obviously all the clips you guys see are like well over 20 feet in the sky. And I think this dude was just being crazy. Then he told me I need a license from the FDA in order to even fly my drone. At that point, I kind of knew he was crazy because the FDA is the Food and Drug Administration. And I don't think they're the people who give out licenses to fly your drone. Some places you do need a license to fly a drone, but I don't need one where I'm at. I don't know. It was just a weird experience. I think like maybe he's got something going on or something because he thought I was like following him when like clearly I'm not. Anyways, we're gonna go hit some deads. I'm gonna show you guys the new deadlift bar, kind of explain what it does and like how deadlift bars work. You already know, we're gonna slam two scoops of Enraged. Code Nick on huge. If you guys do want to try the pre-workout I use. Yeah, I'll see you guys there. is a deadlift bar. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what that is, you might be thinking, Nick, that looks like a normal bar. So the difference with the deadlift bar is it's like, it's specifically engineered to give you an advantage on the deadlift when you lift with it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's this one and it's, you can see it's longer than all the other bars. Here's like a better look. It's also slightly thinner than other bars. It weighs the same, but it's thinner and longer. What these two things together do is they make it a lot more bendy and you might be like, Nick, how does that help when you're deadlifting? So when you deadlift and the bar bends a shit ton, it puts you at a leverage advantage to lift more weight. 
So when you have a normal bar and you start the lift, it's not gonna bend much. You're pretty much starting here. But with a deadlift bar, you can, you can pull all that slack out of the bar, which is gonna make you start slightly more upright and slightly higher, which puts you in a much better position to start the lift from, allowing you to lift more overall. The majority of the people you see on TikTok deadlifting a shit ton of weight are using a deadlift bar. There's a few different brands of deadlift bars out there and they're all little like, different amounts of bend to them. I showed you guys in the last video, I bought the Kabuki deadlift bar. So that's what we're using. It's a little bit more bendy. It's hard to get used to because the knurling on it, like the spiky part is really aggressive. And it's actually like eating into my hands and hurts. I don't know if you guys can see this, but my thumb has been bleeding every single time I've used it so far. Oh, it's exciting. It's it's definitely something to get used to because I've been using the Texas deadlift bar for like the last like three years. But I think once we get used to this, we can start pulling some big numbers. Maybe hit a fucking PR. We worked up to 615 for a single today. I noticed the lockout feels a little different, but yeah, that's where we're at. I'm gonna drop the weight and we're gonna do some like volume shit. If you guys do want to try using a deadlift bar and you don't want to like buy one and bring it to the gym like me, what I would do is I would literally just go on maps and then type in gyms and then look at the tagged photos of the gyms on Instagram and see if people are using a deadlift bar. If it's a powerlifting gym, it'll probably have it. But if you notice like the bar that people are always deadlifting with is bendy and then the this part of the bar is like extra thick. But yeah, if you guys do want to try one, that's an easy way to find one. Um, it doesn't really make a difference until you're like, around 500 pounds on the deadlift because before that there's just not enough weight to make a reasonable bend in the bars. The more you lift, the more it makes a difference. Anyways, we're just doing 545 for sets of five right now and Loki feels pretty good. So for the last set, I'll do something stupid and do an AMRAP with 545. The most I've done before is a set of eight. So if I can match that or do more, I'd be happy. But yeah, let's uh, try that. So, no lie, I'm actually really hyped in the direction that like our lifts are going right now. I haven't felt this way in a minute with like, in terms of the how my lifts are feeling. Like between bench and deadlift, like there's PRs like around the corner, potentially if I can like 
kind of keep us up. It's like the first time in a minute where I'm going to the gym. I'm like excited to see what I can hit. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go home. I think I'm gonna show you guys my post workout meal. I haven't showed it to you guys in a minute. I like made it a little different, but yeah, I'm gonna go home and show you guys that. <laughs> Yeah. So post-workout, basically, I've just been eating bacon and egg sandwiches and a protein bar. I'm gonna toss the macros up on screen, but I'm gonna need two bagels. I'll do like four or five pieces of bacon, depending on like how skinny they are. So this guy on TikTok, he kind of convinced me to get like the pasture-raised organic type eggs. So they're more expensive, but he kind of explained it that they're a better value because of the nutrients you get in these versus like the normal cheap eggs. They got like no nutrients. You know, they're coming from like really fucked up chickens versus these ones, you know. They're full of nutrients and shit. I don't know. If it is really the same value, but he convinced me. So while the bacon cooks, I usually like to get the rest of the shit ready, like have the bagels cooked and then like get my eggs ready. And then for the eggs, I just put out the grease in the same pan and then cook them in there because it's already hot and it cooks the eggs in like 30 seconds. It might not be like the most perfect way to cook eggs, but it's fast. How's that? This is the protein bar, it's the MedRx one. But yeah, that's the current post-workout meal. Hopefully that helps some of you guys. You can add cheese if you want like more calories and shit, but I'm lactose intolerant, so that shit like messes with me. But yeah, um, if you made it to the end of the video, you're a real one. Appreciate you guys watching. If you're new here, subscribe. Maybe check out my other videos, drop a like. If you want to check out the next Young LA drop, there is a link in the description. They got the new bags coming, some other clothes. But yeah, code Nick on Young LA and huge, and I will catch you next time.